Hello world, lockpicking dev here. In front of me, I have a master number 21. These are master locks rekeyable padlocks. You don't see these too often. Uh, I decided to go ahead and make a key for them, and um, I got them open, I got it picked already, and I found out that they were, uh, the cores were crimped. You can see it right there, that little shiny edge where they crimped it in. And I figured I'd make a video showing how to remove a crimped core and how I manually cut keys for these. So first thing is, to remove the crimp core, you have to see what side the crimp is on. So on this side, so if it's on this side right here, we need to pick the lock. That way the bottom of the keyway, the big open part right there, lines up with that crimp. So for me, I had to pick counterclockwise. And so what you do, I don't care about the pins in this, if you move that open spot right there where that crimp is, then you can see it just comes right out. I'm just going to go ahead and straight right up move it. I'm not interested in any of that stuff right there. Lost two springs. I'm going to throw those back in. There we go got that ready. Um, while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead, when we have this in our hand, I had to use a different follower because of that crimp. So that is a part of it. I couldn't use my typical American follower because that crimp was uh, scraping it up. But I found this as a dog poop bag roll. And it works fine. So let's go ahead and get the uh, top pins in here. I'm adding all American lock security pins. Our American Master Lock type security pins. This one's a spool. Got three spools and a serrated pin. This using this follower isn't the easiest easier either. <laughs> Go. Because that cardboard actually gets caught in that spool and trying to shove it through. So you have to be careful there. Alright, that took a little longer than I thought, so I clipped that part out. We got our top security pins in here. Our uh, driver pins in there. Now let's get to the key part. So for the key, let's stick that in there. I use a, a fine sharpie marker here. And I look through the top. And... I mark in the center of each hole so I know where the center of each hole is. Go. Now on the other on the side of it here, that way you can see it when you're cutting. Draw a little line to on the side to show you where the cuts are, where the cuts will start. Okay, so now keep this in. There's our bidding there, so we see how much we need to cut. I'm going to start with, so put that in there again. In there. What the hell? There we go, geez. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to double check that there before I start cutting. So our two middle ones are the deepest, so I got these manual key cutters here. And see at the top, this is where you stick it in, like so. And see there's lines here to help you line it up to make sure it's straight. I'm going to go ahead and start with a little bit off each one.
And some of these are going to end up taking quite a little bit because I'm used to doing this. That's all we got now. This sucker having problems getting in. There we go. Okay, so that's what we have left to cut. Let's see, four is already good. One just a little bit more, and then two and three. And another thing is too, when you're cutting this, when you're crimping down on it, you see how it kind of curves right there, the key right there. So when I do that, or when I see that, I flip it over and I cut a little off the other side to somewhat bend it back the other way. So a bit more than that, there we go. Now we need two and three. There we go. So that's what we have left. See, that's all the way in. So we got a little bit more on two, and then one and three are about good. We're not going to use the cutter on those anymore. So that's a little bit more on two, right? Yeah. It's a little bit more on two. And then one and three are almost good. So I have this metal file here. It's a pretty big one. It's nice and square. I found out it actually fits perfect in the grooves to make a key. So here we go. We're gonna do a little bit on one. So one looks good now, Need a little bit more on three, a little bit more on two. So let's see, two, a little bit more on three. If I, sorry, I gotta focus for a second. I had to get something more stable. There we go. So one, three, and four looks good. We need a little bit more on two. And always with your metal file, remember, you're always going forward, never backwards. That's how you ruin your file. And I did that quite a few times there for a sec, for that moment, just because I wasn't using a lot of pressure. So there we go. Those all look good now. So now we want to put the core back in. Again, when we're doing this, here's the crimp on this side. You can see it there. We want the bottom of the keyway to be on this side. You make sure your driver pins too also don't go in that gap right there because when you're pushing it through, that gap will, will fall down in that gap. There we go. So now you can see it's not all the way in yet. It's because we haven't got that crimp. But now we do. See, now we have our key. And now we can pull it out without a problem. It's got the crimp holding it in. Let's put this the rest of the way back together now. Get your spot there. Make a good little lock. So we're gonna get a little leverage here. There we go. And then screw in on this side.
take my screwing in before we close it. Okay, double check, make sure the key works. It's closed. There we go. So that was rekeying a master number 21 and showing how to manually cut with some key cutters and how to remove the crimp core. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, everyone, have a good night.